I'm standing for college president because I believe we need change. First and foremost, we can't carry on being asked to do more and more for less and less. Pressure on services and referral rates are increasing to unprecedented levels, yet mental health services still only receive less than 8% of the NHS budget. Calling this out loudly at a national level as unacceptable and demonstrating the clear human cost of the under-resourced nature of our services has to be the first priority of the college. When we make the case for more funding, though, there is one aspect of the picture that we often miss out. The reason we need more funding, more psychiatrists and more capacity is because our job as psychiatrists is not just about prescribing. It's also about cultivating relationships. Decades of research in this area, including several studies I've published myself as an academic, show the powerful difference therapeutic relationships make. Yet it has been consistently underplayed in policy development and service design. I've seen this in the nearly 20 years I've worked as a consultant across the system in crisis team, inpatient services, PQs, addiction services, and a community recovery team where I currently work in Northeast London. And I've argued it during my years of engagement across a range of executive committees of the college, the General Adult Faculty, London Region, Spirituality SIG, the Academic Faculty, and until recently, College Council. Many of us find that increasingly our patients are being treated like products on an assembly line move from one service to another with relationships as just an afterthought. And I have seen this trend grow in every speciality from intellectual disabilities to forensic services to CAMS to perinatal and older adult services. So yes, we need investment, but investment with a purpose. Not to meet yet more new targets or open even more new services, but to improve capacity in our existing services so that we can do what we are doing now only with more time and attention to our patients. We need to learn from the four nations and the different ways in which services are funded and organised in each, highlighting what works best on both structural and clinical levels. And we need to couple this with an attack on the rising administrative burden. Yes, we need to record notes and input key information, but with all the mounting KPIs and reporting requirements, it's just gone too far. We need to put patients before paperwork and conduct a bonfire of the bureaucracy. If it's not really essential to patient care, then it needs to go. And finally, we need to support each other. The struggle against racism, gender inequality, and for LGBTQ plus rights are all of our struggle. And the college's support system needs to be enhanced as part of a widespread expansion of the well-being provision for all colleagues. Personal development needs to become a part of professional development. For it's only by building resilience in ourselves that we can do the same for others. And that is where I ultimately want to take us as a college, becoming a more compassionate, connected community so that we can then help lead and reform services to be the same for our patients.